Now, expanding opportunities for minorities in STEM fields. This morning, we introduce you to a high school science teacher who won a grant to expand research opportunities for her students. So Rachel Moore is joining us live from West Technical, Technical and Career Academy, sharing the experiments that students are conducting. Rachel, good morning. Helena, good morning. When I spoke to Ms. McKinney, she was just so excited to receive this grant for her students. And just to give you a little bit of her background, she is a former CCSD student, a UNLV grad, a third generation CCSD teacher, and now a champion for her students, especially for the girls in her class who are an underrepresented group in STEM fields. The techniques and stuff these students are getting the opportunity to do and the, the like research symposiums that I'm planning on taking them to, I didn't have until like my junior year of college. The experiments in the Biomedical Sciences Building at West Technical Career Academy are as diverse as the students. I've got some who are looking for alternatives to antibiotics because of the rising problem of antibiotic resistance. Some who are trying to make plants more drought tolerant. I've got some who are trying to disrupt like bacterial bio films because that's a major problem with um, infections. Andrea Justrup McKinney is the biotechnology program lead. She recently received a $3,000 stipend from the Society of Science to help her students from underrepresented groups develop STEM projects. They can enter into science research competitions. I was just thrilled to be able to take my love for research and, and be able to spread it to more students. Specifically for girls. According to data from the Pew Research Center, in 2019, 73% of STEM workers were men. Studies show that around middle school, girls lose interest in STEM fields because they don't feel the jobs are for them. But Ms. McKinney is working to change that, exposing her students to advanced studies to attract them to more STEM fields. Not all of my students are, are going to choose a, a career in biotechnology, but having like an independent science project where they're having to problem solve and think critically when things go wrong and then present their information to like a judge, all of those skills can be applied to any field that they choose to go into later. And through these competitions, students will be able to win scholarships, fellowships, and just other opportunities to put them in these STEM field jobs. And as for Ms. McKinney, a scientist herself, she's just happy that she can share her passion with her students. Reporting from West Tech, I'm Rachel Moore.